Welcome back to ARC Salt Lake, where we cover authentic, relevant, and community stories. And we have a community spotlight for you right now on Women of Worth Utah, and here's Mary. Oh my gosh, this is such a great organization. Women of Worth is a nonprofit that helps women out of a very troubled situations, including polygamy, homelessness, just horrible situations or relationships. A fantastic organization. We have Marie Jess, who's the Chief Operating Officer, and then we have some graduates, a 2021 graduate, Angela Williams here, and Rosie Vasquez, a 2023 graduate. And first of all, Marie, tell us about Women of Worth. Wow, how did it, how did it come about? So this is our 13th year. Mm -hmm. uh, WOW was founded by Judy Gway. She realized that there was a need. Women go through a lot of trauma in their lives. And often when you're in that trauma, uh, you have a, a pretty good support system. After that, your support system kind of fades away. Mm -hmm. And then there's a need, kind of a bridge in between your active trauma and the um, after that, the, the support. support, yeah, yes. and so you kind of got together a mentorship where you you found women who've gone through some tough situations, and then you're helping these other women continued help. That's correct. Not just a one-time group therapy something, but throughout the the year. No. Um, so we want to talk first of all. This is that we're looking at some pictures of the gala, and that's celebrating the graduation after a full year of this mentorship and uh, going to worth shops. Yes. Where you learn your worth. So Rosie, tell us about your story. Where were you and how did, how did WOW help you? Um, so I've dealt with a lot of trauma throughout my life. Mm -hmm. A lot of childhood trauma was a big part of it. Um, ended up being in uh, an abusive relationship, which um, was mostly emotional abuse mm -hmm. and mental abuse. So overall, I was in a really bad mental space. Um, my boss at the time was actually Marie's sister. Um, when I was dealing with my depression and postpartum, mm -hmm. actually as well, I had gotten to the point where I was ready to jump off a bridge. Oh, no. And I tell people when my boss brought it to me, it's like, what is the program gonna do to, for me mm -hmm. that I've not gotten through medication, through therapy, like right. what can I actually do? But she's like, well, what do you have to lose? Like, Fair. <laughs> so I tried it and I was amazed. And I still am amazed at all the change that I've been able to gain, gain through the program. The worth shops the worth <laughs> are shops. quite amazing. Um, they make they, you realize you have value yes. and, and good things about yourself. Yes, yes, it, it, show, it definitely showed me a lot of uh, the things that I wasn't able to see in myself throughout my whole life, really. And then the support that I gained, not only from my mentors, but from the group as a whole, mm -hmm. was just amazing. I've never had that kind of support right. in my life. And so it was definitely nice um, and, and a big difference. And it probably continues when you work, when you meet other people like Angie, yes. what, what's your story with Women of Work? So, well, um, basically I was actually in a abusive relationship myself. I had gone through foster care and I had, you know, not been brought up on the social skills that I wanted to. And so I wasn't able to see the cue points with certain gentlemen. And so I had an abusive relationship when I was mm -hmm. currently going to cosmetology school. And one of my teachers, she was involved with WOW, and, and so she was nominated me for WOW and told me all about it. And I was like, uh, okay, I didn't know I was going to be nominated. With okay. a shot, it's you free, know, right? right? Yeah. yeah, and I was a little hesitant, but I mean, with Marie and, you know, Judy, it was very, they were very welcoming, very sweet, and helped me, you know, to get on my feet and realize, like, just how much empowerment I had in myself. And so... <coughs> through the program, I was able to actually leave my abusive situation, mm -hmm. and I have, I'm still continuing to follow today, so. Okay, when you looked in the mirror before WOW, to when you look in the mirror now, what did you see? Um, definitely a huge change. Um, I saw somebody who was a little bit more, you know, like struggling, and just struggling to even look at myself in the mm -hmm. mirror at times, just because of how he was to me and how he made me feel. But today, I can look at myself and be like, I am worth it. I am worth it. 
I have value. Yes. I'm worth it. Absolutely. And I see you nodding, so you feel the oh, same, 100%. don't you, Rosie? I, yeah. I wasn't able to look at myself in the mirror mm -hmm. and do uh, our gratitude or I am statements and stuff right. and where it's basically, um, I can't think of the word right now, but um, yeah, it was, it was hard to look at myself in general. Mm -hmm. I would usually look at myself and just turn myself down. Um, and now I can look at myself and it's in my first nature to give myself a compliment, That's which was so nice. never something that I right. could have done my entire life previously to the program. So wow. it was a massive change in you my see life. see the beauty yes. that you have, yes. inner beauty and, and outer beauty. And yes. And also the support behind us right. wholeheartedly. It's amazing. Okay. So. And Marie, they are opening, you're opening nominations now so people can sign up. How mm -hmm. do they, how do they do that? So the applications just opened and they can just go to wowutah.org. Um, just W-O-W. W-O-W. Utah.org. Mm -hmm. .org. And just hit the get involved button and that's whether they want to become a mentee and go through the program or a mentor and help with uh, sponsoring with going through and supporting these women. And a lot of the mentors are women who've gone through similar situations, right? And they learned how to pull themselves up and, and helping others helps them as well? That's yeah. correct. And Rosie actually went through the second year program, which is yes. our mat, which is training the mentors. Mm -hmm. So uh, next year yes. she'll apply to become a mentor. Yes. Okay. And you can always use help. <laughs> funding, funding for the organization, more mentors, so you can help more people, right? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow, Utah. Dot org yes. and congratulations ladies thank thanks you. so much for sharing your stories today Thanks.